What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So, moving on a little bit from where we left off last time, because I'm just getting that farm up and running there. I thought I'd already planted that stuff, to be honest, but obviously not. And then down on this left-hand side of the spine for the ladder, and then the pole will be next to it. You can see I'm just making a simple water lock. The idea being that my duplicates then can then get through into that area and do some work. Uh, we can get a pump built in there. Uh, the pump will then vacuum away all of that chlorine and allow us to continue. It's a bit brutal for the duplicants. Um, they will suffer. I mean, they can hold their breath, so that's fine. But it will do damage. It will give them sore eyes or whatever it is. Itchy eye. I can't remember what it's called now. But it will do a bit of damage to their eyes. Um, but at the minute, I haven't really got the research to do much about it. We can't give them masks or anything. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, but that airlock idea works fine, regardless of the pressure, as long as the liquid, the only time it fails is if your temperature is an issue. So if that water obviously gets too warm, it will turn to steam, that will turn to a gas, and then obviously it will open up that, that lock. But as it stands for now, the bottom bit of water is uh, blocking off that square tile. And of course, that's also working for the chest that is in there, which is the chest that we've moved from up above. And then just there to the left of that, that is blocking that. To, although it isn't technically blocking it, for the game it is. So not to worry, that uh, gases will not mix between the two areas. I've got the uh, tap thing there, just chucking even more water down just to make sure it's extra safe. Just in case, really, but it shouldn't be an issue and it doesn't. So now I'm just setting up a bit of scaffolding. I do need to install the mod that allows me to put ladders over plants, though, because it's really annoying me that I can't build over plants. Um, so I will have to get that. And then I've just set this up so that they can reach everywhere. And then you do a giant dig command. Um, just to unlock the areas, really. As soon as the whole area is unlocked, I can then vacuum it. There's no point vacuuming a small area, breaking a hole in the wall, and then getting that gas to come into that vacuumed area. So it's best to just do it in one big go. And we need to move down. I've committed to keeping this set up. Um, so we're going to go with that and see how it goes. So, another 3D print available for another duplicate. Just having a look what there is. That's a nice science one there. But we don't need science. We need agriculture and cuisine, really. So you can see that that central one is definitely the best. Just to get something that is one good cook. Because <clears throat> we need to get that up and running to get the foods improved for the morale. And then, of course, we need agriculture for farming to get the... It will be the muck root first, I guess. But um, it's the easiest one to do. And get that up and running, and then as soon as we get the cooker, uh, the first sort of proper food processing part, we can pickle them. Uh, and I believe it increases the mood by one. It's not massive, but it's better than nothing, and it's consistent. Um, and then we just need to check on our infrastructure. So you don't want to run out of oxygen, obviously. The game's called Oxygen Not Included. People die without oxygen. <laughs> Uh, we want the water to make sure, and that's clean water, so the blue water, nice and simple in the game. Dirty water is yellow. Um, and then, of course, we're going to go into Critter Ranchin by the, a bit further on, just to make sure we've got plenty of barbecue, because everybody likes a barbecue, right? Uh, the hatchlings that you can see all over my base, actually, at the minute, they're everywhere. Um, they'll likely be the easiest ones to do. Whether we breed them up to morph them into the coal uh, and diamond, we'll see. Coal's a good one. Diamond, yeah, it depends. Uh, we will go for the grub grubs as well. Just because I like having them in the base. They look cool. Uh, that's about the only reason, to be honest. They do give sucrose, I think. Um, but, yeah, they, they just look cool. And then you get them from the Swedels. And then, of course, we will look at getting some of the uh, Drecos uh, bred over to the plastic scales. Because that way of getting plastic is a lot less difficult than using oil and just so much heat. It's a nightmare to control. So, yeah, we'll, we'll use the farms, hopefully, to get most of that resource. Never farmed poke shells before, so I might try that, but we'll see. Okay, so moving forward again, I'm realising that the um, running machines are not working. I did build two, and the duplicates are using them, but the batteries are draining too quick. Now, I could chuck down a load more batteries, but realistically, we need to get into the power situation anyway. So right over here on this far left-hand side, you can see that ladder that's next to it is for the spine. 
Um, and it will be the spine. But we don't need that just yet. <clears throat> That's a bit excessive for the amount of power we're actually draining. You can see them running just there, actually, on the other side. But So we're going to get one of these in, put a storage thing next to it that's just for the coal. And then I'll chuck in a double airlock manual, though, unfortunately, because we haven't got any better. Double airlock to try and restrict some of the gases and the temperatures of the gases uh, into the base, just to try and keep that temperature away from the base. The batteries obviously also increase the temperature, so they will need moving as well. Um, you can see in the base I've actually got the massage room set up for stressed duplicates, but they ain't powered up yet because there's no way we can run them with the structure that we have, the infrastructure that we have, should I say. So coming in with the batteries over at this same area, and then as soon as we get smart batteries, of course, that will be the next step as well, and that stops us wasting fuel. Uh, the reason I'm doing these under an emergency is because although I made it very clear about the temperature, I decided to try and build a large battery section or battery storage in the middle of the base. Um, I am human, also I'm an idiot. Um, so you can see there, like, I started building it. I got about halfway, just over halfway, and then thought, oh, crap. No, I don't want it there because it will just cause more problems than it will... Well, it will, it will generate more problems than it will solve, actually. So, cancel them and get them ones ripped down and we'll have the power storage in the same place as the power supply so that the base remains cooler and also prettier because remember, them buildings and the generators, the batteries, all of the, all of the above, the decor on them is terrible and I do try and make the decor look nice. So that's why in the, in the toilets there are gaps between the toilets. Uh, there are gaps in the mess hall, three gaps there you can see. There are gaps everywhere, and that is all going to be for statues of some description or artwork of some description. I just like to do it that way. I don't have a specific thing, but I will work with it regardless. Right, as I mentioned, uh, with all the hatchlings around, there's obviously a lot of hatchling eggs. So I have put them all into one storage building, uh, and then put an egg cracker down. That will mean that we can get them smacked open and straight on to the grill. The grill you can see now is being built. We do have someone that can run it, I believe, straight away. So we'll set that up for uh, fried eggs, or it's actually omelettes it makes. So omelettes um, and all hatching eggs, up until the point that I want to actually do anything with them. Mush fries, just to improve any mush that we've got, that we've made, just to improve them. Pickled meal, obviously, we're going to be farming that shortly as well. Fried mushroom and gristle berries, also quite easy to do. The mushrooms grow in the dark, of course. The gristle berries need light, so both of them not too difficult. And then barbecue, as soon as we kill something, we'll unlock that and get the meat from it, and then we can turn that into barbecue. And to be honest, uh, all of these hatchlings that you can see wandering around will be murdered very shortly and turned into said barbecue. In fact, I'm doing it right now. There we go. So that will give us a nice big chunk of meat and therefore a nice big chunk of barbecue. There he goes, cooking away on the grill now. You can see an omelette on the floor. So we are making progress. The mush fry, the omelettes, the barbecue. Just need to keep that up. You can see them working in this area. And as I said, although they can hold the breath to stop them causing any problems with the chlorine, it will damage their eyes. Uh, I need to make sure as well that I immediately pick up any of the bleach stone that is gassing off. Because until that's moved, the whole process won't work. So setting that chamber there, the container there as emergency um, that will make them force them to pick up all of that bleach stone that is off gassing and put it in there which will stop it off gassing because it is under a liquid we will then get the pump in there and get that shoved into a, another room we have to make a room to store it for now because there is unfortunately no tanks unlocked from the research and while I'm at it I've got the research done for the pump for the plumbing so we'll get this water moved over to our water storage tank um, and that will be ready for when we start doing the toilets. We still need one for the polluted water, um, but I'll shove that in right underneath it, I think. Obviously, we just need to get rid of that chlorine and then move into that area. Wire up them, because to be honest, they're not going to use them unless their mood gets to a certain percentage, which I've set. And it's quite high, and the worst at the minute is 5%, 6% just gone to, so we're nowhere near. So I'm not worried. Uh, Bed-wise, what we are, we've got six duplicates. We are good for beds. The calories are good as well. 
So all in all, I think we've got a good uh, progress start to our space. Unfortunately, though, both up and down is now awkward to expand. So it's going to be a bit slow or slower progress, but we will get there. Uh, you, once you've got the uh, gas tank, gas pump, sorry, uh, you can kind of just chuck all the gas into one area and then sort it out later date. What I like to do is build an area to store it, like with the gas tanks, and then just pump it all out until the rooms a vacuum, and then open up that said room to allow the oxygen that you in your base to move into that room, and then you've got an additional area to build. But we'll see how it goes. Six duplicates. It's not a lot to do big projects like that. And of course you can see there that we are going into some warmer areas. So we need to try and mitigate that heat from getting out of control. Though luckily the base is a little bit cooler than it normally would be around the 21 degrees mark. Um, so that heat will dissipate slowly throughout and hopefully warm it up. We do have above though very cold climate. So we do have all of the facilities we need to cool things up or what cool things down or warm things up there you go i got it right that time back now and you can see i've got the pump up and running so that is starting to excavate mm, it's probably not the word right word but pump out all that chlorine and there's some natural gas in there as well of course i've got to finish it off just leveling out to match the width of the base um but i'm struggling to get the nuggets to stay in there long enough to do that because of the distance they have to travel without the oxygen Cutting back, you can see a bit later on now, um, it looks a lot better. So, skipped a bit of time, but it's it's monotonous to watch these two or three people going backwards and forwards over and over again. So, it's the same principle. You can see the structure of the of the building is, is almost there. The centre where the pump is and below will be the tank for the polluted water when we get to that stage. And on the right-hand side, you can see them ladder will carry on as normal and allow more rooms, exactly the same size. And on the left-hand side, where you've got that room full of chlorine and then rooms further below that as we need. As soon as we have the ability to store the gases in a tank, that room will then be cleared out to use for something more useful. I do need to look at where I'm going to put in my farms as well, much larger farms as well, because I like to have quite large farms, one of each crop is the right word, yes. Certainly mushrooms, I like to have fried mushrooms because they're very easy to do. Um, and the the bristle berry as well, is, and then the gristle berry that it cooks into, are quite easy to do as well. Okay, so yet another emergency, and that emergency being the fact that we're switching the bathrooms over. Now, I did do this a bit poorly. As you can see by the cycle, top left-hand corner, it's almost night time. I should have waited until they've slept and woke up, and then I had a whole day at this. All it means, though, is I'm liable to get someone peeing themselves on my floor, which is... We, we can clean it up. It's not the end of the world. Uh, as you can see, that tank is now complete, and there's a bit more infrastructure there ready for the polluted water. That's going to come from the toilets, the sinks, and showers once we get there. So putting in the toilets and then immediately realizing that no, you put the sinks at the door, not the toilets, because you want them to wash their hands as they leave the bathroom or the restroom. So you switch out the toilets and put the sinks, and there we go, people messing themselves. But that's expected and not too difficult to clean up. So two sinks, two toilets per bathroom, Eight in total. We've got six duplicates, so that's more than more than sufficient for what we need. Of course, this will allow us to push to eight without any problems. Um, Bed-wise, we've only got six, but adding two beds is easy peasy. And then you've just got to watch your food and oxygen levels for increasing the duplicate count. Now there is a lot of plumbing to do. I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this video, you've done this many, many times before. The white, of course, is in. The green is out. You want your clean water to go in, and then the polluted water will come out once they use the facilities. Making sure to keep the piping segregated from itself, so that clean water is clean water and the dirty water is the dirty water. So that obviously is all going to be the clean water pipe. And then I'm just going to use a couple of bridges to throw over, uh, or go over should I say, that pipe with the polluted water. And that will go into the new tank that we have created. We can easily then turn the polluted water into clean water at a later date with the sieves and some sand filtration media. Um, but we haven't unlocked them yet. And to be honest, we've got all of the time in the world because until the tank's full, it's not critical. 
Um, so yeah, we, we can use that. And in the meantime, we can use that polluted water for certain crops and breeding and paku if we wish to. Um, but I think the fish are not really the ones that I'm interested in doing, so I, I very really do them. I don't know how easy or hard they are because I don't really pay much attention to them. I should probably try it, and if you guys know, do let me know. But I like to farm um, hatchlings and grub grubs mainly. And there we go, we look like we have a decent amount of infrastructure ready and waiting to be used. You can see there that there is some polluted water moving along the pipe. A little bit there I missed that I didn't quite prioritise the right level. So as soon as that's done, there we go, uh, that should allow us to use all of them. So eight sinks, eight toilets. Uh, temperature wise we're good because obviously we took them batteries out and you can see there the polluted water heading down the dirty water line and into the sink that we've set up don't worry about the clean water in there that's irrelevant um, we can get that probably mopped up actually if we can, well, we can try to anyway and then of course I'm just going to throw in a uh, bottle emptier inside the polluted area because we did have some accidents and I mopped up the dirty water and we need somewhere to put it. Remember the dirty water off gases polluted oxygen. So putting in some airlocks there to stop that should help and then once we get them we can get the air filters to cl clean that and then it shouldn't be an issue. So also top right you will see eight showers as well. They're not plumbed in, they're just built for now. But that is our next step, making sure that the sinks are only right. So for them going into the, sorry, out of the, the, the bathroom. Um, of course, if they come from that left-hand side with the batteries, it's a different matter, but I don't care about that. It's not going to be an issue. Um, and then as soon as we're comfortable, when everything's caught up a little bit, I'll plumb in the... Well, we need to get the polluted water cleaned up that I've bottled up first with this bottle empty here. And then I'll plumb in the shower. And here we go, plumbing in the shower. And I'm just connecting it to exactly the same lines. So the left-hand ladder is where the clean water goes up the base. And the right-hand ladder is where any polluted water comes down the base. It should be able to stay like that. Mostly, yeah, it should be pretty simple to keep it like that. Infrastructure-wise, in the future, we will need to do a bit more, maybe. Um, but for now, it should be more than enough to keep us going, certainly for the mid-phase. And you can see there that the bottle emptier is indeed getting rid of the polluted water into that room. So we do have them sleeping at the minute, but as soon as they wake up, the only job they have to do is finishing the pipes on the showers. And that will then give them an extra mood boost and, and cleanliness boost as well. Um, the power is working nicely just with that simplistic one generator. Uh, and I think four batteries I put down. Of course, as soon as we get the ability to, I will be turning that into smart batteries. Or at least a smart battery, we only need one. Uh, and the smart battery's advantage is that when the power is full, i.e. the battery is full, it turns off the generator so you're not wasting coal. Um, we do have 22.4 tons of coal. You can see that's one of the two resources that I'm keeping an eye on permanently. As well as 42 point, no, 41.9 tons. It's just changed again. I'm not going to keep reading that number out. Of algae. And there you go. Wired in. So that clean water is now making its way up through all of its junctions to the... And it's done. Up to the showers and they're now ready for the duplicates to use. And as soon as they do, you'll get the polluted water then going down the same place as the toilet water. So that's all set up and fully fully plumbed in. We just now need to work on this area, moving down the base uh, best we can. And of course, moving over to the left here, we're going to get this room dug out as well, just so that we've got somewhere to put things should we need it. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through here and inspect everything, just to get the uh, data disks from that stuff before I do any destroying of the facilities. We do need a specialist to... Uh, yeah, we've unlocked the other planetoid there from the teleporter we won't be using that just yet we need to get the infrastructure a bit better here first uh, you can see a hot tub as well that we can use from but there's a lot of chlorine that we need to sort out before we can look at doing anything exciting like that 
and that will be in another episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome as always. Take care. Goodbye.